Hi, Three Most Brothers. One shot. Everyone knows the freaking rules. Oh. Ooh. Listen, yesterday, someone said that they are going through mental retardation from being socially kind of isolated. Lack of socializing. Dude, how many... Ugh! How many people are going through this shit, man? How many guys are dealing with this? All right, I'm not. I'm not uh, any different. I'm not, you know, foreign to this subject. This thing is real, and I'm telling you, getting a girl is just not good enough. Getting a girl is not good enough. I see this happening to a lot of guys. They go to the gym, and then they play video games. This is their main habits. And they got a girl. This is the main habits. They go back to grinding on RuneScape. This nostalgia, sort of this yearning for nostalgia. They go back to it. And um, they just keep lifting. They're kind of stuck in the lifting. And video games and girl. Video games, girl, work. Video games, girl, work. Lift. Dude, it's not a, it's not a natural order for us men. We're going to suffer. We're really going to suffer, okay? So, we have to talk about this. We have to do something. This guy in yesterday's video, mental hell. If you're going through mental hell, he said, I'm not going through mental hell. My body's fit. Things are decent. But I feel, I feel mentally re, -re. I Like, I, I'm stunted. Because I'm not getting stimulated mentally. I need other conversation. There was a guy spent a year on an island. He went insane. He went insane alone. He was isolated. He went. Al he had no one to talk to. He had no one to say, hey, dude, um, your ideas are stupid. Or, hey, congratulations. The great story you got there. Oh, dude, someone to see you. That's what... That's what Thumos is, you know? That is what Thumos is, to be seen by others. For a man to never be seen is a terrible fate. So I really think that we gotta, we gotta think about this. We gotta think about what to do because it really is the fight of our lives because I don't see it getting any better. Like I don't see the, the average guy getting any better with just like being inundated with VR. You know, VR, Meta coming out. It's going to get more isolated and put into a sort of like a uh, like a fake universe. More escape. The video games are only going to get better. The the digital women, the titties are digital titties are only going to get better. You know, it's all it's going to the walls are closing in, dude. And so I think all of us are kind of looking for better ways to connect. better ways of connection so i suffer with this big time big time i remember just waking up working a night shift job graveyard shift walking around in this truck lot letting the trucks in and out dude i would go stretches of time without seeing any human beings all night i would come home i would go to sleep i would wake up at like 2 p.m 3 p.m no one's in the in the apartment building my my uh roommate was off working so I didn't see anyone and then I would go to the gym and I would so frequently be alone that it got kind of weird it got very weird to see like look a woman in her eyes women became like a foreign thing to me because I would never see them and I would just like there was always this little itch in my balls you know like a little oh hope I hope I see a girl today hope I see a cute girl maybe I can make eye contact with maybe I can uh flirt with a little bit but then I was like awkward in my own body. I walked into the gym. Shit was like, Eli, loosen up, man. Loosen up. You know, I was like, I didn't feel like Eli. I didn't feel like myself. Because I, I really believe that you almost find yourself in a community. You find yourself the I in the tribe. You know, it's like, it's just not good. I, I think it, I don't think this is discussed enough. I don't think it's discussed enough on what to do, right? Like we, we know there's an epidemic, a lot of old people too, lonely, but what do we do? So maybe this is, you know, already familiar to you because I've talked about this before, because this is literally what 
my channel is about Thumos being seen, the brotherhood I've created, uniting the men has always been a goal. But I, I just, like, I, I want you guys to feel this. I want you to do something about it. If that is your reality right now, if you're lonely, you got to do something about it. And um, there's a lot you can. So every a big part of our group is martial arts. Like, we encourage every guy to do some sort of martial arts because combat has been a part of human history forever. And so just like the gym where we simulate strenuous activity, the martial arts dojo academy is a you know sort of artificial simulation of war militant training combat brotherhood in arms that are training towards something and oftentimes you'll go to competitions together or you'll have open match together where you're hanging out shooting the shit and you're rolling you're beating each other up but you're also developing like strong bonds i'll tell you this you can go to jiu-jitsu and roll with a complete stranger and you can like bypass like a uh, six months of getting to know someone just by rolling with them sweating you know one time I, this is nasty but one time i was trying to pass someone's guard and a bead of my sweat just dropped down into the guy's forehead and i watched it, i'm like no and i like I, I like this is very cringy but in the moment i kind of wiped his head off sort of a beautiful experience very cringy but uh man i felt bad but that's that's life you know that sweat hit him on his forehead and you know he felt it one the other night i was rolling and and the guy let out a huge fart just 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 um just a huge fart dude and i'm like you know i'm i'm playing guard right i'm like got him i got grips on him this guy rips ass and i'm like it's no big deal, dude. That's human nature. He's like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And, and I'm like, don't, don't even worry about it. We got back to it. You know, we act like nothing happened. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's human nature. But, you know, there's a sort of there's a sort of human element there. So let me get off the topic of martial arts. I'm getting worked up. I like it. I love it. It's one way that I want to I wanna teach. I want to unite men under martial arts. That's, that's a goal. Um... Listen, many different ways. There's many different things. Cigar lounges hold brilliant minds. There's, you know, some old pimps walking up in there. Uh, you know, some old guys walking in there, bringing two ladies, drinking some cognac, giving you some whiskey, giving you something. Here, bud, here's a set business guys just trying to get away from the house, taking a break from the kids. Cigar lounges are great, okay? Um, let's think. Riff them, dude. Riff them. We got to riff them. Get them down below. Get them down below. Where else? You know, there's people all over the world. You just got to go. You got to find them. You got to find your community. You got to be the catalyst for change. You got to be the change you want to see. Damn it. Getting worked up. Getting worked up. This, this is, you know, the third space, they call it. The third, the third place away from home. You got your work. You got your house. The third space has been eliminated. The third space has become these crevices where these crustaceans are online. Okay, not showing their face, not how, not like-minded men, not holding each other accountable. We need to bring back the third space. There's a business opportunity in here somewhere. You got to figure that shit out. But if you're a man and you don't have a third space, you only are left to your work and your home. God bless you, man. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. So, you know. What is the third space? The cigar lounge or the dojo, the weight room. But again, like a lot of times it's just headphones on, people listening to their playlists, not socializing at all. I get it. You want to go in there and get your pump. That's fine. But you need something else. The video games ain't going to cut it, dude. No wonder the Call of Duty series was so good. It's like, you know, it gave you that competition, that camaraderie for a time, but it, it wasn't It wasn't a real, you know, it, maybe it was a little real, but it wasn't real enough. It didn't hit you in your soul. You need like soul bonds, man. You know, we need to get back to to getting people together. So for me, you know, this even this little thing, I, I've competed four times this summer. I started in uh, June, did four tournaments, met a bunch of people, cool people, kind of got my neighbor doing it. Me, My neighbor, he saw me out there in the yard just ripping them. He's like, dude, I play too. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. So we started playing, he got his friends, we, we started having these friendly tournaments, it's fun. What else, what else? Get people 
Oh man, you know what I need to do? I need to get a barbecue going. I need to feed the neighborhood. Yeah, that'll be real good. What else? What else we got, man? I need your guys' help here. So, um, never good. Never good to be too alone. Pick up basketball. My uncle's like 60 years old, man. This guy's still playing league basketball. Waking up, just, just breaking young Buck's ankles. Just working them. He's making that shit happen because he needs to. What else he got, man? You know, what else? He works from home. All these guys working from home. You got to have something. You got to integrate sports, sports, sports. We need sports. We need to be athletic. We need sports, man. Sports simulate war. Men are meant for war. We're meant to go to war. We're meant to be prepared for times of war. So, you know, maybe you don't feel it through most because you have no one else in your life. To train for war, to train for combat, to train for a purpose, a goal. That's why, you know, that's why even, like, you you look at guys, we're not meant to just sit around, face each other, like, you know, and just talk gossip. We're meant to, like, talk ideas. That's why when we sit at a bar, we kind of sit across from each other. Hey, what's up, pal? How you doing? Buy each other a drink. Here, man, have some of this whiskey. You know, women sit around, face each other, talk about wine, talk about gossip, talk about some whatever they got to talk about you know but men are different we need a purpose we need a common goal something to work towards together bring back the third space bring back the third space we got to do it we got to do it we got to freaking be those people man leadership is scooping the nuts creating a vision for the future going there hey come with me come with me dun, 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 dun. going towards that vision if you create the vision, people will follow you. All right? People will follow you. Momentum. Guys, I'm pumped right now. Uh, why am I so pumped? Because this resonates with my soul. It really does. It's why I think I'm even uh, walking on this earth. Because I think that I have the ability to unite people. And I, I think I can get... I think I can... Uh, I, I think that's what it is. Unite people. I'm meant to do it. We're meant to do it. All right? Guys... If you're not in our brotherhood, man, listen, we get together, we have meetups, we motivate each other, we talk about this shit all the time, we have voice chats nearly daily, we just shoot the shit, hang out, not everything's about to be, you know, serious, as far as I'm the, I know, I'm the only guy doing this, that gives you guys free access once you get to level 80, because I want you to be a part of this brotherhood that spans the globe, this is the, this is the phase we're in, I don't want this to be something you pay for, I want you to get in, rank up, earn respect, and then be a part of the brotherhood forever. And then maybe eventually pass it to your little child that you have one day. So I will see you at a meetup sometime. I will talk to you in the group. Let's rally the troops. Peace.